Okay, and we are live. Yes, is the answer to your question, you covered. People will start pouring in right now. Welcome, everyone. We're on naught participants. Yeah, but hopefully that will change. Oh, six. Yeah, that jumped fast. As the doors open, it's like that rush in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, welcome, everyone. Say hello, as usual. See who wins the first comment. The first comment prize, as usual. Yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> in there. Well done. Hi, Sandy. I met with Sandy this week. Sandy's very nice. And then she got shouted at by a photographer the other day or yesterday. Left her a little bit shaken, but that, that I think that the, the biggest giveaway, Sandy, about that guy was what you said about his age. Because as you get a little bit older, I think. Uh, you realise that it's not worth upsetting people and stuff and you work your way around things, but maybe he's just a little bit like a, a little bit gung-ho. Hi, ne, Samosi. Everyone, just let us know where you are, just for everybody, everyone, everyone likes to know where everyone is. So I'm in Jerusalem, Yecheved's in Jerusalem, Sand is somewhere in America. Everyone's shy today. Cleveland, hi Tammy, welcome. Anyone else? No? 34 on. Everyone's quiet. Antwerp, hi Rookie from Antwerp. Oh, here we go. Ontario, Kingston, okay, Muncie. Oh, Sand is in Muncie. I didn't know that. Ne is in Israel. Borough Park, okay. Wait for a little bit. Let everyone come in. Lakewood. Hi, Amy. Hi, Lance. Srili, what's up? The New Forest. Yeah, that's in England. That's nice. Um, okay, so we're, we'll wait another few minutes before we really, like, jump in. Antwerp. Okay. Are you starting to book up again, Yechavid? Slowly. I had yeah. um, a few, three jobs last week and then one this week and now a wedding as well booked. Hi, Dad. Yeah, I'd say my, my calendar's never been as empty as it is now except for the past year. Now it's, it's quite a little bit busier than it ever has been for, than it has been for the past year. People are booking in a little bit. But it's not for the Omer, it might have picked up already after Pesach. Yeah. Once the restrictions eased a bit. And... Yeah, we'll see. I wonder what's going to be. Are you still charging your very high rates? Well. <laughs> sort of. You'd like to, but. No one's, I mean, there's no one, there's no one to charge. It's not, I'm not charging my high rates. It's just no one to charge. I mean, the ones who do book are paying the full price? No, well, it's in a. Uh, people from the states we've booked weddings have we've gone back into weddings at, not at full price by a long way um otherwise i'm still staying at my prices generally thank god for the school hi Rifka. yeah Rifka assisted me last yeah, time. Hi, okay we're already a, a minute or two in let's jump in okay everybody let me uh welcome to our 10th webinar, which is exciting, hit double figures. Um, we are, um, we've got a different, slightly different uh, layout or layout or you get a schedule. Oh, hello. Don't know what that was. We've got a slightly different schedule this time. Um, I'm going to try, please God, to go through all of the pictures they uploaded. There was a lot of pictures as well. So we're going to do, we're going to go through just a couple of student uh, transformations for a couple of moments right now. Then we'll do our, uh, then we'll start critiquing. We're going to do two sections of critiquing. So we'll leave at the end, the second section. So we'll try and please God get through all the pictures. Okay. Um, as usual, we're going to stick up one second. I want to just um, put out our offer there. Is that your Sherry saying hi? I don't think so. 
<laughs> so we're gonna we've got our, our regular 50 percent off for the for the 24 hours anybody who's new to our webinar or not involved in the course yet please do jump in you can ask people here one of the reasons for the webinar is for you to ask people you know what their thoughts are and how's it going etc so you know keep active on the chat i'm not going to be looking at the chat your head going to be looking at the chat and rifka's also in the background um like answering questions and stuff like that um anything like particularly important on the chat and your head will tell me um, but otherwise let's jump in so i'm gonna put my screen shirt on then it does this like trippy like whoa yeah, yeah. okay I'm and gonna some mirrors that over there are you seeing my screen which screen yeah. is it you see I'm my screen your picasso yeah good okay um okay so just a couple of student transformations um so first hanshi burger I just she's done fantastic she's up to class five and i'll just quickly show you where she came from these are the first pictures i have a little quit on my screen okay um she was doing quite well with cropping and stuff not so good with focus um and this isn't so well cropped but this is now the second class i think you can see she's getting more conscious of space um this was nicely uh, nicely arranged but the light was awful um and then this is like that's cute. Or something, yeah, very good. And now this is her final, her last upload, which was class five, and she's really nailed it now. That's she's gorgeous! Done. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Well, pardon me. Well done, Hanshi. Excellent, amazing transformation. And Leia, I'm not sure if it's Leia Shulman or Snyder. Either way, it might be the maiden name. Yeah, it was definitely one way or the other. Um, so let just this is how she began at the beginning of the course. Okay. There's a lot you can see already like a, a lot of potential and like she's got an eye but not not tight on like understanding tone and and backgrounds and stuff like that and then quite quickly moving forward but still you know a bit a bit like um sloppy with not so i want to say sloppy because it's like beginning for a professional to be sloppy but this is already you can see her mind's really understanding getting better with posing and then as she goes forward and then she upgraded her camera to a Mark II and this a 60 Mark II. And these are her final pictures. Look at this. Look at that picture. Gorgeous. Wow. Unbelievable, no? That's yeah. so sweet. Absolutely nailed it. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, there's lots of there's lots of students who I could have shown there. Um, but um, Leia and Hanshi popped out. Well done. And well done to everybody who's just constantly just, you know, growing in uh, growing in photography. It's great. Okay, should we jump in? Yeah, let's go. Let's start. Okay, I haven't even looked at these pictures yet, so usually I flick through them, but I didn't get a chance this time. Um, um, phew, what do I say about that? It's a great picture of the modern art. Yeah, so Michael, I'll tell you, one thing, we're actually going to talk about this, the idea of surprising someone in a picture, which I love doing. In fact, I'm just going to show you because I'm giving a whole thing about framing in, in at the end of the thing i just want to show you um what was it called the surprise framing is something like this yeah where this is a little treat for the, the viewers like what what ah and then it all makes sense okay but the problem with this picture is that um the the surprise isn't it's not much of a surprise if you get what I mean. She's not she's not lit up. She's not doing anything interesting. Um, so it's like she's kind of just over there as opposed to oh that's what the picture's about. So I'm kind of confused what I'm looking at here. Like like you said, Yehebed, it's like it's a nice picture of some modern art. Um, but I think it could be it could be a lot more. It could be a lot more if you had her looking at the camera. You had to brighten her up, sharpen her, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Could be a lot more than that. Okay. Um, this is nice, nice looking chappies. Uh, not our regular, not not the, the regular kind of uh, people we see in our crowd. Picture, yeah? But uh, yeah, not our regular crowd. Um, this is the other side of Jerusalem. Um, but uh, I mean, it's it's a lovely it's a lovely snap. But I'm not. It's not much more than a snap. The the um, the vignette is very is very um, like obvious and. I don't want to say immature, but it's like um, what's the word for that? 
uh, it's like kind of kitschy. It's not, it's, it's not very sophisticated. The vignette is very unsophisticated. Um, I would, I, I would be trying to do, I think probably the problem that I'm seeing here is the, is there's like a contradiction between what they are and how they're appearing. Like, their monks shouldn't they be like very like you know contemplative and meditative and stuff like that and in fact, they're just like smiley happy so that's a little bit of a contradiction um compositionally it's it's unbalanced over here we've got energy moving this way and then our eye gets kind of stuck over here uh, so it's it's definitely a lovely picture to look at but it's not i wouldn't call it a, a serious photograph it's more like a snap like i said okay this on the other hand that's that's fantastic higher that's absolutely gorgeous okay ladies and gentlemen stats let me just throw this out that's good bad or ugly no good bad or perfect everybody throw up your throw us your two cents the stats i'll just tell you is 125 iso 1.8 uh f1.8 at 1000 uh one thousandth of a second perfect we've got 83 percent saying perfect 75 percent saying perfect 80 percent saying perfect 81 percent okay great we've got like 85 percent saying perfect yeah hey, what do you think good bad i think they're pretty i think they're perfect I also think they're perfect. Well done. Excellent. Hi, that really is a nice. beautiful picture. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Frame, gorgeous colors, a lovely pose, perfect light. I would I would be proud of this picture, 100%. I'm perfect. impressed that you don't have um, too much blur in the foreground and the background at 1.8. It's a nice amount of blur, the flowers. You don't want it too crazy. Oh, yeah, maybe they're not so far away What's from it. Well, I, th I think it's, I just think that's a, a, a perfect yeah. picture. Can't fool, you. Can't fool you higher. Massive thumbs up. Really nice. Lovely. The we're we're going to talk about framing at length as we uh, a bit later on. Okay. Um, it's too dark. We need to bring our subjects away from the background. And just in regards to posing, this is a very kind of like just everyone standing there. What we really need to do, a very big part of family posing, is demonstrating the relationships. Um, so throwing hands over each other would be a good idea. Let him get his hand, put his hand over here. This kid put his hand over here. And then these two kids come a little closer, maybe have them hold hands like this. A lot of work, this is a lot of, uh, this is, there's a lot of work needs to be done here, basically. Um, I would probably, the way I would end up doing it actually is move him in the middle, her over here, him over here, and then the two big brothers are over there. And then all of a sudden, you've got a decent shape here. As it is, it's very, very loose, very loose. Plus, you need to get them far from the background, uh, and they're kind of blending into the background. Okay. Um, Andy's asking how far in front of the background should the subject stand? As far get as, that blur. As, as far, far as, as you can. Yeah, right. The further the better, the further the better, 100%. Okay, uh, we've got some... Some... Um, uh, some... Uh, Flair flare in the lens um the stats 1.8 is a little diff dangerous for for um for these girls for, for just for such a amount of people however you did uh you um you missed the focus a little bit who is this henny you missed the focus forward a little bit so that's a problem the actual pose is beautiful lovely energy is going in lovely strong shape over here as well nice separation from background and subject um but like i said focus is missed and that haze from the flare i don't think does you any favors okay that's beautiful who's that mimi photography interesting i'm wondering if mimi like ripped this off from somewhere <laughs> i don't understand the difference but anyway um it's a beautiful it's a beautiful um that that is a so sweet newborn picture um i think we could do with a little bit of a skin soften remember there is no such thing as newborn photography without intense skin softening i would also be tempted i think to crop in a little bit like that i love this trailing off of all mm. the, of the of the cloak of the blankets going off into the background that really adds a lovely energy moving in that direction we've got this shape moving in this direction as well 
Um, but the light and very important thing to remember is our eye always moves from dark to light. So here's the dark and here's the light. So our eye is moving this way when we're looking at the face. So we've got all of these energies. I think all together, we've got their movement this way, got movement this way, we've got the movement this way. And I think all together it comes out as a perfectly balanced image. So well done, beautiful. Stats, um, good. Good, I'm assuming you're using flash. But you might not be, it might just right be. Right window, that yeah, face is lit up well. Yeah, it could be that you're just by a window. If you are by a window, then I would say these stats are not particularly good. You should be a slightly higher um, ISO. You could be at a wider aperture and you should be at a quick, uh, a slightly quicker shutter speed, even though you did fine. I don't know if you want a wider aperture because you don't want the legs and the blanket too blurred. I don't think it. I don't think it would make much difference. All it would do would just give you a quicker shutter speed. It wouldn't make much uh, difference graphically. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful. Okay, Shanna. Wow, that is a really powerful picture. Unfortunately, you've just missed the focus. Focus is a little bit forward, as we know. Go on, everybody. Focus equals oh, so edgy. Distance. Oh, thank you. You have just ruined that for everyone. Okay. Oh, well, they can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> fine so yeah focus is distance and the distance here we're focused over here as opposed to that is a problem okay but the actual that aside which is a real issue um the graphics of this of this picture are gorgeous and you've perfect so edgy yeah and you've perfectly suited the, the 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 subject to the graphics we've got these intense um leading lines which create these strong triangles we've got these vertical lines over here we've got this heavy texture with this kind of um warm ready kind of energy to it so that's just the graphics and on top of that you've got this crazy scraggly you know um ready kind of hair with this kind of intense look on her face and some heavy shadows so overall that's just a it's a masterpiece unfortunately you just missed the focus which is which is really annoying but other than that i think it's fantastic really excellent Okay, um, Chevy, this is this is nice. I would crop in something like this. Okay, be careful the background and make sure your lens is clean. It looks like you've got some schmutz on your lens. Ooh, stats, mm. 30th of a second. That is very, very bad. Okay, We're, the goal is, although you've actually done really, really well in holding the camera dead still, that's quite miraculous, to be honest. A 30th of a second is basically photographic suicide okay we want to be getting to at least the 200th of a second at least when do you you have it when do you feel like the like the pressure's off with shutter speed once you know it's just not worth it no what i'm saying what speed what number do you feel oh. like, just like oh uh, i like to keep it on 400 if i can 400 i think that's a great number yeah, yeah. i think 400 plus. i found even with 200 you can have issues Absolutely, that that two hundred. Especially if you're running or moving or it's events or moving and you're. Two hundred is the beginning of getting good, but still, I, I, I'm if I'm not using flash, I'm I'm definitely as much as possible quicker than two hundredth of a second. Okay, this is nice, Perry. Well done. Okay, stats. Um, no, what, let, let's ask what people think. One second. Oh, where's the poll? Hold. One minute. Stop. Hold. Publish. Okay, everybody. Stats. What do we think of the stats of this picture? And I want people to fill in what they think the stats are, and then everyone can write in the chat what could have been done to improve these stats. I've given it away. They're obviously not perfect. <laughs> what could have been done to improve these stats? Please fill in. I wouldn't say they're bad. I mean, you know what? They really are. They're not good. I wouldn't say bad, but they want, the, what can you read the stats aloud? Oh, the stats. I'll read the stats out. It's a hundred ISO, an F2, an 80th of a second. How could these stats be improved? I want to look. We've at got what. shutter speed up and ISO up. Well, read re the other way. Miriam was shooting raw. No, that is not in my opinion. So raise the ISO and shutter speed. Yes, ISO that speed. is what we need to do. We need to raise the ISO to probably 400. 
We can open the aperture to 1.8. That's not because it's going to give us a shallower depth of field. It will make literally no difference. But it will Even though his eyes are not straight. Yeah, it's not going to make any difference anyway, but it will give us a quicker shutter speed. Our goal here is to get our shutter speed quicker. Okay, it's not a disaster, but it's it's definitely not. You can see you got stung. Who's this? Perry, you got stung by your shutter speed here. We're trying to get to at least the 200, at least. Okay, um, who's this? Devoy. Unfortunately, again, you've been stung by your shutter speed. Remember, if you're indoors, you cannot take pictures without flash. Uh, you need to. You've missed the focus, and you and you um, and you and you're at a sixtieth of a second, so it's not sharp. And you also need to do a skin soften. But please, please, you need to learn flash if you want to take pictures indoors. Okay, um, this is nice, Devoy. Um, it's a little bit cool. Should warm it up a drop. Um, also, shutter speed is, again, too slow. We don't need F5. You could be at 2.5 here, and then that would be, you would be able to, let me just ask everyone that. Everybody, we've got right now F5 at 125th of a second. Okay, you have it, don't shut out. <laughs> if we change our aperture to 2.5, what could we change our shutter speed to, okay? So uh, F5 at a 1 one twenty fifth of a second. If we change our aperture from F5 to F2.5, what would we change our shutter speed to? Wait, so I didn't actually work it out yet. One second. I got it. Okay. Who's going to be the first one here, right? It's hard. This is Bal Pair. This is, yeah, this is, this is, oh, this is really testing you guys to the limit. No, Shiri. You got 400. No, that's wrong. No, no, no. Three, no. two, fifty-four. There's no such thing as one over three hundred. Two no, fifty, two fifty. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. We well, should be trust them that they've done no. three clicks. Remember two point five. Remember what happens with our aperture when we change our aperture. Ah, thank you. Oh Shirley. yes, she got thank it. You, thank you, Devon. Siri was first. The wisdom yeah. opened. And Devon was in a five hundredth of a second. Remember aperture when the number doubles or halves. It's two stops. So when we go from F5 to 2.5, we're adding two stops. So then we can take away two stops on the shutter speed. It goes 1, 1, 25th, 250, 500. Okay, I'm sorry for you people who are joining us who are like interested in the school because that's quite advanced photography talk there. But um, thank you, ladies. Also, you don't have to remember it by heart. You don't have to, but you're- it's all very, written on the you, camera. Exactly. Very quickly, you do understand. But anyway, um, Devoy, this is a lovely picture. I really, I really like this picture. It's gorgeous, uh, gorgeous smiles, gorgeous, um, a gorgeous like uh, route around. But what I really think is special here is that you went out of the. I don't know if there was cloud cover or something, but the um, this picture you didn't ruin bright, it with a rim light. Exactly, this picture in bright sunlight is one of these pictures that would look terrible. It would just look like this massive ball of white going around them but you're in a shady area and this is a great this is a great demonstration of how even in shady area you still get a directional light from behind which still gives you this lovely subtle um rim light that bounces them out from the background so well done that's really special excellent okay um s halpen uh definitely need um Definitely need to um, to cool this picture down a little bit. Um, we need a wider aperture. Get our subject away from the away from the tree to blur that out. And this hand here moving outwards is very distracting. That really does break the composition. Okay, this is nice. Well done, Essie. Nice, Lovely nice. energy moving in this direction. Lovely colours as well over here. So not only do we move over here, but once we get over here, we're like, oh, that's nice. And we feel very nice. Um, I think you can maybe <laughs> trim off a teeny weeny little bit from that side, in my opinion. But that's really well done. Stats are not particularly good. We can have a wider aperture. I'm assuming that you have the regular the 50 millimeter 1.8. So you can have a wider aperture. Um, and that that and I think we could even have a add a add a little bit of light as well um, to our oh, subject. Right well done that it's not simple as well taking pictures of a little baby i would say this baby's what eight nine months ten months maybe what do you think not more 
Yeah, so the, the, it's difficult to take pictures of babies like this, but you've done really, really well. You've gotten down low, you invested yourself in that picture, and you, you deserved what you got. Well done. Bracha's asking that the leaves are reflecting a bit of pink on her face. Uh, or skin soften, it makes it a bit pinker. Well, that's good or bad? Does it matter? She's asking if it matters. I, I didn't notice that. I mean, if you think it matters, it matters, but I, I didn't, it didn't bother me. Okay, um... We've missed focus. Oh, we got focus. See, this is really special. This is really special. This little, uh, the, the big brother looking at his little sister, I think that is. Um, excuse me if I mixed up any sexes. That's definitely a little sister. Um, but what the issue here is, um, what's the issue in this picture? Go on. The lighting? It's Maybe hard every, everybody, what, what's, the, uh, what's the issue with this picture? Why, why doesn't this picture like go zing? Well, you're not seeing both their faces. The, the, exactly. The, this this is such an endearing expression, but look how much of the pit of the frame that is. So it's really it, we if we crop this picture in, look at the difference this will make. Even though we lose some of this nice color of the graphics up there, but just to to cash in on that expression, do you see what I'm saying? That expression is what the picture's about. So right now it's about you know four or five percent of the frame now it's like ten percent of the frame it's a whole different yeah. world different world cash in is a very important thing when there's some special expression or interaction cash in really cash in okay beautiful that's really nice so sweet stats are good okay don't think you need such a high iso and you can open up your aperture drop that is distracting okay that should be broken off um that it's not distracting per se, but it doesn't add anything to the picture, I don't think. Um, but otherwise, very nice, well well framed, and um, nicely sharp, good stuff. Uh, Wex fam, okay. Um, okay, Adina, um, yeah, this is your camera really showing, uh, this is the 50D, this is, it, it's, it's showing itself now, it's really showing that it's old, um, I would crop in a little bit more like this, okay? But decent background, you've just missed the focus as well. See, focus is a little bit forward, okay? Mm. Nice tongue, my mother-in-law doesn't like tongues. Sorry about that, Safta. Um, okay, um, okay, we've got lens flare over here. Um, it's a bit loose, the composition is a little bit loose. This girl's moving this way, ideally, Ideally, this girl should be turned inwards, in my opinion, um, and that would make a big difference. Also, this area is very overexposed, which is a little bit distracting. Um, but I like the use of the box, Yao. Okay, that's great. Who's taking pictures in my place? Oh, you Yechemed. Well done. That's a great shot, Yechemed. Thank you. Stats are pretty tight. Why weren't you at one point? I had a flash. <laughs> Why well, wasn't I? I think it was too blurry at one point eight. The first well, guy. I, too, I think it'd probably just be you use that to change the flashback. It's fine. That's a great shot. That's a wonderful shot. Very. Uh, Thank you. Very exciting. Very interesting. Well done. Thanks. Okay. Um, sippy. Okay. Background is overexposed. Um, stats are absolutely perfect. Well done. Um, that these white splodges. Remember white overexposed areas in your background um suck out all the energy from your picture super important to keep that in mind okay let's keep going um again this is the same issue with the background who's this shira um that's a very shira yacheli hi shira um that this background is not good it looks like you might have been in trouble to try and find someone else but whether you could or you couldn't um an overexposed background is not good um Ty, well, I think she's he's not turned enough and she's turned too much. Okay, very important not to I, I think what would fix this is if mum put her hand around her son over here. I'm assuming that's the relationship. Um and then mm. that would fix that would fix everything. Okay, it's very I'll important. Bring him in, try, yeah. Try it's very important to see ways of because when you turn around to somebody and you're like, just just turn a little bit like this, yeah. 
if you can just get them to put their hand around someone and it fixes things up, a lot of the time it will fix things up when they move their hand around someone. Very important to work out to do that because it can save you trying to direct people and be precise. Very easy. Um, okay, Hindi, this is nice. Wait. Just missed the focus. Focus is a little bit behind. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we should never miss a picture because of focus, okay, ever. We should always be taking enough pictures that we never miss a picture from focus. Otherwise, it's sophisticated, uh, a sophisticated uh, vignette, lovely light on her face. It's a really gorgeous picture, but unfortunately, we missed the focus. Okay, um, that's nice and energized. It definitely needs to be brightened. And the, the angles and the colors are great. Yeah, really, loads of energy there. The um, yeah, I'm I'm not sure what's if it's the camera. I'm not sure what 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 accounts for this low quality, but the we we really if need it's that. if it's sheltered from the sun, it's going to be low lighting. Yeah, but she's I mean it's she's with a power shot, which is like one of these like hand like uh, compact kind of cameras, but it's a one twenty five. I'm not sure what the issue is. But this is potentially a really fantastic picture, and if it was taken with a more professional camera, I think it would have been superb. So well done. Okay, oh, one minute to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Nakami. Um, th this is this this posing is not this is not tight enough posing. Um, how can we fix this? The issue is is they're quite similar sizes. I would probably end up going to this wall and sitting someone on this wall, sitting one of the big kids on the wall. And like, let's say if we sat her down and I had him kind of next to her and then her next to her and then him over here and then the little girl over there. And then we would have a, I don't know if that made any sense to anyone, but as it is, this isn't, um, this is the, this, it's too much of a kind of a, a balagan. How do you say that in English? You have heard? A mess. A mess. Thank you. It's very messy. Very yeah. messy. Okay. The, the sky looks like it's been re-added. Is that, is yeah, that, that's for is, sure. yeah, is that a problem even, or can you get away with that? I didn't even get that far. It looks quite fake. Um, the sun coming through in the background has created a haze over our subjects, which is not usually a good idea. Um, but um, I, I think there was like a good potential. I'd also bring you bring your attention to this, like standing on this tarmac -y area. Like this is a nothing area. Like look, when when you've got all this gorgeous... Green Here's a case where you want to be close to the background. Yeah, not far. Get, get off the road. Get off the road. Yeah. Get into the get into the bushes. Always get into the bushes. You know. Okay. Um, oh, Miss Focus. And the M5. What's an M5? Is it's, that? A it's a mirrorless. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is my nephew's shop. Oh yeah. Yeah, he just got okay. a mirrorless camera. Yankee, uh, you missed the focus, man. That's not that's not that's not cool. You need to get the focus. Try again with the focus. Also, I would either have him on this side or have him flip his guitar around, even if it's fake. Because the energy is going out. You just got energy moving in that direction. It's mm. a little distracting. But I, I I appreciate the the uh, the fo the the light the um, editing that you attempted over here, Yankee. Okay, that's beautiful. Well done, Hadassah. That's really That's special. Sweet. Yeah, you nailed the focus. I think she's a little bit cool. I would definitely warm this image up a little bit. Um, stats are perfect. Lovely energy. Gorgeous expression. Excellent. Background's great. If this area here was not white, that would definitely add something. But as it is, it doesn't distract, like, greatly. Okay. That's right. 31. We're, yeah, should we finish off? Let's try and get to... Wow, 26. Let's get to another two, three. Let's get to 30. Okay. Um, nice and sharp. Okay. Um, it's a nice picture, but I, I think I'd probably prefer actually looking at them than having them look at each other. It's a little bit contrived. It doesn't, it's not like a, a really tender. Maybe because they're too close. Yeah, it's not. Also, also uh, kids' uh, profiles are generally not something that you want to be trying to pull up you know pull forward um let's keep moving um okay definitely we need let's at once that you have it don't say anything let's ask everybody how uh, out to the audience what is the issue with this picture one word just one word only allow one word 
What is the issue? Yecheva, do you know the word? I know my word. Yeah. The question I would is, sit down lower. Is it my word? Right. <laughs> That's really what I'm Angle. asking. Angle. I'm asking not the problem with the picture. I'm asking. Angle, contrast, think, boring, problem. grain. Cro grainy, boring, contrast. 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 You'd probably word. get that more by going down lower. So the low, yeah, you could go down low. I, I think you don't really need to do that because it's. I would. I would just look, even even in Picasso, uh, even in Picasso. But you lost the sea a bit. Yeah, no, I know. I just down, you get the natural I, sun. I'm just showing you the the idea of this silhouettes is all about. Yes, it. you want them sticking out more. You need powerful shapes, so you've got these great shapes, yeah. which is good. But unfortunately, you don't see them because it's such a low contrast image. Okay. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I still I still think it was a nice try, but definitely a little more contrast. Okay, bad light. Be careful, uh, Julia. Be careful this light. That is you. You lucky that it didn't get more destroyed than that. But that is that is light that we're trying to avoid. The light over here is actually very beautiful. So well done. Um, stats are not uh, not don't make such good sense. Should be at a wider aperture, and I would crop in closer as well. I don't think we got much to gain from um from that background over there okay onward whoa <laughs> <laughs> what a cute face <laughs> i was looking at the teddy bear I'm just um, okay so it's cute it's it's like yeah you've done well with the focus i i, I you're 24 so you probably got the 24 not seconds. enough light people into yeah the light is very uninteresting um, and not very clean. I, I like the concept of the idea, uh, but I don't think it kind of popped out enough. It's not clean enough. It's not tight enough technically. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, Shiffy. Um, compositionally, though, it's a little bit awkward. Um, this is funny to say this, but that teeny little catching of the of the white sitsi at the bottom of the frame actually creates a really uh, a really uh, distracting sticking point. Um, so I would, you have to be very careful with anything intersecting with the edge of the frame, especially something that's very tonally um, noticeable. Exactly. Yeah. So that really does create a sticking point. Um, otherwise, the, the edit is actually beautiful. The stats are perfect as well, absolutely perfect. Uh, the edit is very sophisticated. And the truth is, you could, I mean, look, I can show you how we could, we could fix this up in. Are we okay with the hair on the face? And the hair on the face, I think, adds to the whole the whole um, energy energy of the picture. Once, let me just what I would do here, just to get rid of that this thing over here, is just super simple. Just go to your clone tool. Make it. You could even do that in Lightroom. Yeah, probably. Even just to go like that. Yeah. It's sharp, but even that makes a little difference. Even that makes a difference to that. That it's amazing how much that rule actually plays a point in the uh, uh, just to any little thing intersecting the edge of the uh, the edge of the canvas makes a big difference. Okay, um, should we move into the next thing? We're on thirty six already, so yeah. Okay, we'll finish them afterwards. Sorry. Anyway, if you're only going to finish them we'll afterwards, back, yeah, we'll go back to we'll finish after. Okay, so um, okay, so. The next thing what we're going to do is I got permission from uh, a a client of mine to use their real pictures for this for this um, what's the word for this uh, uh, workshop. So this is a real shoot. The Lifshitz family, the lovely family, had a great time. This shoot was actually three parts. So there was a regular family shoot. Then there was the bar mitzvah, like the meal at a restaurant, a nice restaurant in town. And then the next morning we went to the Koiso and we had like the, the, the ceremony with, uh, with, with prayers, shakwis in the morning. Okay, so these pictures, um, I've just pulled out the family shoot. I didn't think it was relevant for all the other pictures. So I've got the, I've got the uh, not raw, I didn't shoot in raw, but I've got the unedited images here. I'm just going to show you quickly uh, the images that I used for the slideshow, okay? So um, these are 25 pictures, which is a very regular slideshow for me. Um, we always get pictures of them walking down 
um, from the beginning of the shoot for a couple of reasons. First, it gets them in the mood. And secondly, you get a nice picture out of it as well. Um, notice the light is terrible on her face. But in this kind of picture, it doesn't matter. This is just popping up for, you know, one and a half seconds on the slideshow. And it just gets you moving straight away with the with the energies of the image, with, with the energies that you're trying. More about to the story than the picture. Exactly. And it's, it was more, more about the energy. It's about the story and it's more about the energy. And this picture, whenever somebody's walking, there's always strong energy. And this place is also with this, with these walls here, with all these triangles that come in and with the, with the, with the triangles of the, the leading lines of the, uh, of, the, um, of the road and stuff, just everything comes together. So this picture is a great way to, to go into the slideshow that just immediately puts you in that like energized kind of, you know, I'm ready for some, for some kind of emotional experience right now. It's not just going to be like drab and like boring. Okay. Yeah. Um, immediately we jump into the kids pictures. I, I nearly always start with the youngest kid first. Okay. And we do, this is just classic posing. Um, you can see here that the hair's okay. It's not amazing. It'd be better if it's a little bit less than that, but there's not much to do here. Okay, and then nab a quick picture while you're taking the pictures. If anything uh -huh. happens, make sure you nab it. And it's these pictures that really push the slideshow forward. It really, these kinds of little moments, candid moments really add a lot. And then back into the finish off the, uh, the portraits. Okay, I think you can see that I desaturated the ears. Okay, nice one on mum and dad. Okay, and again, nabbing one of those moments that really, they really do add so much to the slideshow. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna look at these pictures in a minute because this is quite interesting. Pardon me, what happened here? That's a nice intimate picture of mum and her son. You can see he's a really like sophisticated looking kid. And so you compose him in a sophisticated way. If he had like big chubby checker face, you know, like chubby cheeks and like, I don't think it would work quite as well as, you know, as, as this kind of look. OK, and then also very important for the slideshow is not just using the standard poses. You notice that I don't actually have a regular picture of mum and dad with their son. I've got this kind of like wacky picture for the slideshow. In my opinion, that is completely acceptable and actually preferable because, again, don't forget, we're not sitting there studying the beautiful picture. We just want the emotion. We just want the energy from the picture. OK onward after you've got mum and dad and you've done all the singles now it's time for uh now it's time for a uh, uh a full family shot f5 we'll look at the stats when we look at the pictures and now grab all the kids i'm using a lot of flash here all of these pictures are all with flash okay a couple of poses with the children that's fine and now i'm now if you notice all of these pictures were just about the subjects background is very very just beautiful, nothing uh, nothing to look at. But we're in the old city and they're on holiday, so you have to make sure that you cash in on the background. So even though we want to we want to get the best of both worlds, and that's what we do. So we made sure we got some pictures where you see the you know what's going on. Framing just now now we've done all the now we've done all the important like you know bread and butter pictures. Now it's time to like you know have fun, keep things moving, and just squeeze out as many interesting kind of shots as you can always get kids to run around as well okay using big flash here i can bring out the color in the sky we found a, another place just before we left now the sun was getting lower so we could really use this gorgeous rim light okay this is without flash okay get a few other um combinations that i missed beforehand okay and then finish off what's the prop gone what's 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 bad about this picture i should answer or wait let's let's see let's throw it out to the cover Everybody, what do you, what do you, what, how could this picture be improved a little bit? Just say one person. Loading, loading. Shoot, have, I'll tell you that in a minute, have I? Anybody? Loading, loading. <laughs> a little boy awkward. Uh, yeah, I hear that, yeah, a little bit. Um, mother and father. Mother and father. Exactly. Well, move dad, mum, not enough. Can't see mum, dad, separate that, <laughs> turn it back. <laughs> Mum overlapping dad. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that is that is loose. That is uh, that is loose. Um, what could we do? Um, it I would work if the others were, were in pairs. Yeah, well, I think looking at this picture now, what I'd probably do is have dad turn around. 
okay? So this shoulder comes forward, have maybe one leg up, one leg down, and mum could stay in a similar place, but we would end up with a little bit of space between them. Mm, I think there'd be a gap. Difference. Yeah, I think that would make all the difference. Yeah. Okay, and then we finished off with one more picture of the Bermitsa boy, just concentrating on some really nice, beautiful light. Okay. Lovely, yeah. Um, and just uh, he's a gorgeous looking kid, you know, really that most boys don't look as good as this generally. So he was, <laughs> he was good to work with, yeah. Um, okay, so let's I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lay my cards out here, okay. I'm showing you the unedited images. Um, no one and, gets to see these. And ever. not only that, is I made some crazy mistakes in this shoot, okay? And I'm, that's one of the reasons why I showed it. Why I'm showing it to you, I made some really big mistakes. I'm going to go very quickly, okay? But this is the beer. Let's first look first to answer up a couple of questions. Number one, we began at 3.22 p.m. And we ended at 4.43. That's an hour and 20 minutes. That's, that's longer than usual. And I shot, in total, 1,010 1, pictures. Um, wow. which is more but it's more than usual usually i shoot about seven seven hundred and fifty pictures on average in, in an hour so the but it was longer I, than an hour exactly so it's a very it was a regular shoot uh in regards to the volume that i shot uh but just because it lasted a little longer i took a few more pictures than regular okay so first things first is getting the exposure and i'm sure everyone's going to ask as well how many did you end up with for the client out of that one thousand oh. Ten. Okay, so we can see this. Oh, let, let, that's a good question. So let's just look at the finals of the one second. That's a very good question. And ends. yeah, this is where the party begins. So we gave them. I from that shoot, I ended up giving them 188 perfect uh, final pictures. I gave them wow. a diamond selection of 84 pictures and a slideshow of 25. Those numbers are absolutely normal. Absolutely normal. Yeah. That 100. was 188 plus or including uh, the diamond selection? No, no, no. That's 188 including the diamond selection. In total. Then you picked yeah. out 45 the of them. The 84. 84, sorry. 84 for the diamond selection. And then the slideshow is 25. Okay. Um, okay. So let's just, let's go through. We're going to go quick. But let's just go through. So immediately I'm trying to get my exposure. You can see I'm overexposed. I'm using a lot of flash. And then I, I hopped afterwards. It took me a little bit. And now I've got the correct exposure. And I think that was the one we actually used, if you remember. Okay. Get mom and dad to look at each other. I've got my camera basically above my head. I'm just clicking, clicking, clicking. These dudes in the background are annoying. But it wasn't worth me. Oh, it looks like I actually did get them to stop. It wasn't worth me getting rid of them basically okay and again these pictures are overexposed i quickly flip my camera these pictures are all taken look at these they're all all of these pictures one two three four five six seven those six pictures were all taken in the space of one and a half seconds okay and then i changed my shutter speed and again please what i really want everyone to remember is you might look at these pictures and think oh that's ridiculous look how many pictures he took and like but you can just delete all these pictures and it doesn't matter. That's the point. So like we've said many times, I have a friend, a photographer who talks about the idea of spray and pray, which means just take loads of pictures and hope for the best. That's not what it's called at all. It's called, what's it called? Uh, Go on, everybody. Cover in your bases. What's it called? Don't say it. You have it. Let's see everybody else. What's it called? Taking lots of pictures is called... They're thinking. No, it there's a lag. That's the problem. Uh, engineering the odds. Thank you very much. Exactly. It's called engineering the odds, and it is a very, very intelligent thing to do, okay? Because you just delete all the bad pictures. Okay, so then what I saw here was I saw some really nice light. So I just wanted to grab I, – I was aware of this in the background, but I just wanted to, to cash in on this very strong directional light. All of those pictures took me a a few – just a couple of seconds and then we carried on again one of the ways i don't know if if you remember your heaven from being with me on a shoot but one of the things that i do for this picture one second to get this picture correctly um is i say to everybody okay we're going to play a game okay 
the game is everybody has to leave, everybody has to be able to see my camera okay what that does in this situation it's not so difficult there's not so many people but what happens when you're walking with a group of people is people get covered behind each other and that makes a very big difference so if you say to everybody you have to see my camera by definition if they can see your camera then you can see them so you end up getting everybody in their own place so i've taken pictures literally of of you know groups of 15 people where without having said that, it would have been zero chances of not having people covered. But because you're saying, everybody make sure you can see my camera. Yeah, sorry, you can't see my camera. Look, Shmuley, look at my camera. And, and, and as you say that, everybody positions themselves and you can walk with a group of a lot of people and make sure that you're getting everybody's face. It's a very, that's a, it was worth coming to this uh, webinar just to learn that with the lady. Okay, so anyway, once we've got them there, this is all again, all of these pictures, Let's see that all of these pictures took place in the space of this was 2250 and that's 2537. All of these pictures took space, took, took place in three minutes, two and a half minutes, two and a half minutes. We got look at the variation of all those pictures in two and a half minutes. Now, the first picture here is going to be at the same stats as the last picture. Always just take the picture and then work out your stats. Okay, so obviously I was very underexposed and I recompensate, I'm overexposed and I'm using flash. So I'm at a 200th of a second. Um, I can't use a wider aperture because I don't have high speed sync. Um, so I, I can't use a wider aperture yet. So now these pictures are all at 2.5. That's giving me as good as I can get. Okay, a 200th of a second. Remember, 200th of a second is okay because I'm using flash. Okay, and I'm just working. I've got the. I've got him beautifully placed in the light over here, and you can see he's a little bit. He's a little bit like not into it. But we're working with him. Did we manage to squeeze a nice, happy smile? Oh, oh, oh! I missed that one. That's not focused. See, focus in the background. We get in that. Oh, we didn't really get a really good picture of him. I suppose that one's quite nice. That's nice. Okay, and now next, we're, we're on with the next kid. Okay, just a very classic, um, uh, a very standard pose here. Nothing like fancy. Just, just very clean. Okay, we've got good focus. Again, we're at two hundredth of a second, so we're using flash. You can see the the nice light in his face. A little bit underexposed, but very simple to fix in post. Okay, and then just trying to give ourselves a little bit more, um, a little bit more um, uh, variation of the pictures, and then back to this, uh, back to this pose again, and trying with another pose. I just felt I didn't get, I obviously felt I didn't get the best shot. These are quite cute. Let's just see a couple of things. Number one, how many pictures did I take of this kid? 46 and number two how long did i spend shooting him so this is at 34 second 34 minutes and that is at 36 minutes two minutes to take 46 pictures so from those kind of numbers you're for sure going to be getting a lot of good pictures and you only use two minutes of your time okay let's just have a look it should be similar to all of these pictures let's have a look at this little girl i went a little bit to town with a little girl because she was only she was the only girl. So here I took 60 pictures. Okay, the final one is at 3.39. And the first one is at 3.36. Again, two and a half minutes. Two and a half, that's a good, those are good amounts of times for, um, for, uh, for kid pictures. Don't get too over, don't, don't spend too much time. Take a lot of photos, but don't spend too much time, okay? So again, I find if you're not getting someone, it's better to move on and come back to them than than push them too long. Uh, yeah, 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 I agree with you as well. There's very, very little gain from going too long. This is a really nice way of having a little girl hold her hands. Very endearing, very beautiful. Okay, um, you can see the, the, the arms are not too straight with that, or is it okay because her t-shirt breaks it up in the middle? I, I, I think and you that, say like the elbow is a bit bent yeah we you do want the elbow yeah but in this the, 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 there is get the, away with it because this the is the, the end the bend, when you have a straight arm that's a problem but this isn't a straight arm we've bent it at a different mm. plane than regular so so we've still got it's just very endearing you know what i'm saying mm. I, lo I love that with little girls to twist their arms it's very beautiful uh yeah. we've got her ear 
overexposed. We've got that. That's not particularly nice, but it can be dealt with very easily in Lightroom. But again, it's not a picture destroyer, in my opinion. Um, okay, and we're, we're like, you know, we, you can see we're obviously squeezing some like very endearing, um, very endearing uh, expressions out of her. And then another pose here. This is lovely. Having your subject leaning forward into the camera again makes in, makes it more endearing. When I'm taking a picture of a little girl like this, all I'm thinking is the gorgeous, endearing, cute. These are the words that are in my mind. So how can you do that? What can you do? Having her lean forward, having her twist her arms, having her fold her legs, etc., etc. Okay. And now to take a close up. And when we take a close up, three point two. So you can see at a two hundredth of a second. It's sharp because of the flash, but without flash, this would have been not sharp at all. Did you see that? See, that's sharp without flash as well. Okay, and then a final pose as well. Again, leaning in the camera, endearing, cute, beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. And then obviously just saying some funny things and getting her to smile. A really good thing for a little girl like this is to say to her something like, do you know how gorgeous you are? She's maybe a little bit old for that maybe a little bit younger than that, but to ask a girl to say how gorgeous she is, she melts in front of you and you can get some really beautiful poses here. Now, because she was the only girl, um, I threw in mum as well immediately and got some pictures of mum and her daughter. That is a little bit distracting, but these pictures are very nice. Look at this, everybody. What do we think of these stats? Good, bad, or perfect? Why don't we send out a thing? One minute. Hold. They have to take into account the flash. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Okay. Everybody, good, bad, or perfect? 200. Yeah, you do have to take into account the flash. You're right. I'm using flash. Good, bad, perfect. I'm happy no one wrote bad. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. <laughs> so, um, so the question is, why, why didn't I go at 50 ISO? And then I would be at um, 4.5, um, 4, 3.5, 3.2. Because, um, let's see, and Paul, 50-50. Um, good. I think, they're, I think they're basically perfect um, in that I'm using flash, so I can't go quicker than a 200th of a second. But I changed from 50 ISO to 100 ISO because I just so desperately wanted – to have everybody pin sharp. And you can see even at 4.5, her face is not pin sharp. So I was very aware that mum was quite far behind. Let's see. Now I brought mum closer. <coughs> that's a bit of camera shake. That's a beautiful picture. Now we've got everybody pin sharp. But that's a very important thing to remember is it takes a lot of experience to, to kind of forego the um the aperture here you can see i've changed now to 3.2 because i brought them closer so i've got the sharpness see i haven't still i missed that i missed that focus there so i get focus here mm. it's okay let's see that's good that's good okay and then again just 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 catching a little thing happening at the side okay now we're now we're taking pictures of the bermitsa boy Okay, we're obviously going to take more pictures. And look at the difference here between getting this white. Remember what we were speaking about before? One second. Um, remember what we were speaking about before about the white in the background? Look at the difference between that and that, mm. that white in the background. Okay, just really trying to get rid of all of those uh, splodges. That is distracting. That is not that is not adding anything to the picture at all. That is distracting a little bit. Okay, we're a little bit underexposed, but nothing like nothing too problematic again this is as this is good as the stats get right now when i'm using flash okay crop in close we're still with our flash we can really get some lovely uh, lovely light on his face you can see just very subtle um subtle uh, not a highlight but a mid-tone and, and a slight shadow okay Another couple of poses all the time, really trying to work with this rim light. We found our place and you notice I'm not being like crazy trying to find all these different places. I've got my place and I've taken all the pictures in the exact same place. I've got some kids sitting here, some kids leaning here, some kids resting on here, etc. But we're in the same place so I can just get everything done as quickly as possible. 
okay you have him look off camera that's just cash in on uh cash in on uh, on another variation of the same pose okay and now get a full frame again using the same bench um and just again cashing in on the uh on the um on these arms here remember always looking at always looking at benches and everything as just posing stools i'm like the 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 amount of times i actually sit people on benches is uh, is kind of rare although he's sitting on a bench here uh, but we're using <laughs> using our using all the different layers to use to prop hands and legs and feet and etc cetera, etc cetera. but this is a, a nice intelligent way of using the uh, using the the side of the bench here and then again just what's really special here is this gorgeous rim light that's a very special uh, it's not yeah that's a, that's a unique time in the day to get such a beautiful rim light okay that's a bit loose he's really ideally oh, the problem is ideally this leg should come around a little bit more it's a little bit too out that's not very put together there we go and then a kid like this um make sure to get a pose which really you know that also really yeah he's like a cool kid. the personality he's a cool kid so uh, you know pose him in a cool way okay and now mum and dad Again, a couple of poses, making use of uh, making use of. See what I mean by the the posing stools. He's sitting on the arm of the chair. She's resting her arm on his knee, and um, it just comes again, yeah, looking at each other. Okay, just cashing in again on another another pose. And all of these pictures took place in. See now, this is a problem. This is one of the issues that I got in trouble with was the flare. Okay, a lot of flare in these pictures um the sun was coming very low and there was nothing blocking it and i was using my flash for for light so i wasn't able to use it to block the sun um so let's just have a look now at how long all of these people before i got involved in the bear in mind we're on 10 o'clock oh at 10 o'clock oh really yeah so we should finish off so let's we're gonna finish off now then let me just see how long this took to get all the main pictures done no we didn't is, get one. is the whole family together not considered the no, main we, yeah of course of course we didn't do that yet so it's three i started these pictures at 3 30. i finished with the parents at um at 3 50 that's 20 minutes okay and then we did the parents and the boy Okay, and now these, all these pictures, I don't know what happened to me here, but all of these pictures are very, very flary. But it worked out okay with the, um, I, I brought them back in Lightroom, but the biggest mistake that I made, if anybody noticed this, was that I didn't take a picture of mum and the boy. I missed oh, yeah. mum and her son. Yeah, but, so what I did though, and I'll just show you this, is I ended up, if you see these... You chopped them out. I got rid of Dad, okay, and I did a Photoshop before I did anything, and I made two basic... I, did, I think I did two or three basic pictures, and I cropped them in all different ways, and I ended up presenting my clients with a whole bunch of pictures of Mum and her mum. Did they remember you. that you hadn't actually taken it like no, that? No, no, no one ever remembers anything. But that was that, so we, so we completely got away with it, but that was one of the big mistakes that I wanted to tell everybody about that I did over here. And then finally, we had a few comments that people were happy that you were admitting to pictures not working out well. It boosts their confidence that even if they make mess up pictures, that's part of being a professional photographer. Absolutely. I just saw a, what was the quote? I saw a great quote. An amateur is learning how to take good pictures. A professional is learning how to not take bad one. Yeah. Oh, I saw such a good quote. But basically it's like this. The difference between an amateur and professional in any in any uh field. in any field, thank you, is that an amateur sometimes can surpass a, a professional, can do something better than a professional. But a professional, and this is the def this is my definition of professional, in the worst case scenario is going to do something absolutely acceptable. That's my definition of, a, of a, a professional. In the worst case scenario, the job will be at least acceptable, at least acceptable. So that, that's, 
it's the kind of thing that we need to work on to make sure that even when we do mess up, it's kind of micro mess ups that, that can be worked out. And then let's just finish off with these pictures here. I want to move on. See, now he was like losing energy. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing what we can. Sliding yeah. down. Yeah, a lot of overexposure here. But these are nice. These are good. Look, look notice that I'm using F5, okay? It's not a problem. It's really not a problem. And the and the 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 um the sharpness of the flash is really special here. So again, don't the the whole idea of being um like a, what do I call it? A aperture snob. Okay. It, we do always want to be using the widest aperture, but don't sweat it if you don't use the widest aperture. Okay. It's the wide for me, the, the more important thing about the aperture is giving you the shutter speed, but here we don't care about the shutter speed and F5 is completely acceptable. Everyone's pin sharp. Okay. Everyone's pin sharp absolutely fine we could crop in a little bit for this picture and that is a in my opinion a delightful family portrait very special professional family portrait and let's just see we'll finish now but let's just finish and then also we squeeze everyone together and then power the flash up and do a little bit more kind of like funky stuff i don't know if I've got why did you power the flash up there to get more contrast exactly to get more contrast to make the background even darker and just to do some kind of funny stuff and then we did the kids by themselves. So let's just see. So we basically finished the bread and butter of the shoot at 4.06. And we that's started- That's 45 minutes. Yeah, that is, that's, that, that took a longer time than usual. That's why I ended up going over. But I, I would probably say that you want to have the bread and butter finished by um, 30 minutes from an hour shoot, which means all the kids individually Okay, mum and dad by themselves, the uh, the whole family and the kids by themselves. I suppose that also included the Bermitsa boy pictures. Uh, yeah, extra a pictures. few extras. But, yeah, so, okay, but, but generally I think you should have all the bread and butter stuff done half an hour into the, like halfway through the shoot. Chaya just <laughs> asked, if you're doing the, the whole family shoot and you've got everyone pinned sharp, where do you put your focus? The front, the middle, the back? You're, I mean, the, the rule is always in the middle place of your of the distance between you. Wasn't um, it three but, quarters back? You told me once. No, yeah, there's a it's a little roughly. Bit, yeah, like maybe two thirds back. But um, if you can't find if you can't find the middle point, generally the middle point is what you're aiming for. A lot of the time, it's difficult to find the middle point. If you can't find the middle point, then you go for the back rather than the front. If you focus on the front. The people in the back will be blurrier than if you focus on the back, the blurriness of the people in the front, if you've got that. Okay. Um, everybody, let's just, I want to, I just, everybody, I'm going to put out another offer. We're going to do, do we do all courses on a masterclass? Anybody out there who's not enrolled in our masterclass, please enroll in our masterclass. Everybody in the chat, we do this every week, every, every time, but. Just everyone give a big heads up to everybody who's thinking about joining our class about how good it is and the kind of uh, kind of uh, transformations that you can expect. And then everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we do, it really is a put together course that really does work. Okay. Well, if you have a second, Khani has begged you to check your email because she missed her picture submission for part <laughs> image critiquing. Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure. If I said it. I'd ask if there's time. Yeah, okay. well, <laughs> Maybe at the end. Okay, uh, okay so framing. This is our next thing. Okay, oh, tell me, it's never gonna work. We're never gonna do this. Okay, um, what is framing about? This is our next, <clears throat> you know, I'm just gonna get a glass of water if you don't mind. Go on, okay, would you take the reins for two minutes? Or one? Hi everyone. What's your favorite thing so far from today? Uh, Shmoy, you're getting some nice um, testimonials. Oh, that's good. Thanks, Sandy. That, that sounds really nice. Critiquing more photos, Shane, at the end. We're going to get to part two. Hi, everyone. Normie Hi. Halley's also done a really nice one. Em okay. says, is it normal to have 30 minutes if you're pretty much starting out? Yes. What was that? 
Em is asking, is it a normal thing to strive for 30 minutes for the bread and butter of the shoot if you're pretty much starting out? Maybe allow a bit more time. Make sure you've got it properly. Look, when you, everything's different as you're starting out, but I think it's where you want to get to. But you, you need to make sure that the bread and butter pictures are dealt with. First things first, kids individually, mum and dad together, the whole family and the kids. Don't move, don't go onward until you've got that down, okay? Whether yeah. it takes 30 minutes or two hours, don't go onward. Don't let them go home. Okay, you can't finish <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Say, I'm really out. sorry, I missed this kid. Do you mind to yeah. stay five minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And don't be a, a cum son. How's it cum son? Stingy. Don't be stingy on your time. Don't ever be stingy on your time. Never. Okay, framing. So what is framing all about i'm going to try and go quickly but i i, I framing does a lot of stuff um i think you can summarize it in three basic ideas but i'm going to go through it i've got i've break broke it down into like 11 different things um it gives depth to the picture okay um it also um binds the image together i'm going to explain that a little bit that needs unpacking what i just said there it binds the picture together um and it also splashes something whether it's color or a shape or a texture or whatever but it gives you an extra part of me an emotional whatever that the emotion is going to be it gives you that on top of the on top of the uh the subject as well so it enhances the subject in that sense uh, you have to remind me to get back to this picture at the end, okay? Sure. Okay, so simple depth framing. These are just pictures where by adding the framing, by the way, they do a lot of other stuff as well, but I wanted to just try and hone in on the point. This just adds a huge amount of depth to the picture. This really binds the picture. I should put that one in the binding one. Sorry. Okay, but these pictures just, it adds a lot of depth. Okay, again, adds a lot of depth. This also does more than that, but it adds depth to the picture. Okay, binding the frame together. What do I mean by that? You have it. Do you know what I mean by that? It keeps your interest locked in the center, keeps your eye in the middle of the picture. I didn't mean that. That's oh. true. That is true. When I said bind, what I mean is it binds this. Ties all the elements together. Frame. Exactly. You, if you've got a frame that is the same, a framing that is the same um, color or texture or whatever shapes as the background, it gives you a consistency between foreground and background. And that's why I'm calling binding the frame together. Do you see, did, did you get what I'm talking about? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It makes sense to what I just said. Yeah. Do people yeah. understand what I mean by binding the frame together? Just give me a quick heads up. If you do, okay, we'll keep going. Again, these are pictures that are, this is binding it on a, more like on a graphical level, uh, so on a textual level, okay? And again here, even just these few little, these few little pieces of grass over here, because they echo the um, the shapes in the background, oh, people don't understand, yep. Probably yeah. yeses and one no. More, more yeps than those, okay? But again, because we've got a similar, I'll try and explain it a little bit more, M, whatever your name is, M, that because we've got um, the same color, the same shape or texture here as over here, it gives you a consistency in the frame and it binds it together, okay? That's not such a good example. Um, again, this is a nice example of binding the frame together. Again, just a few, a few, um, uh, a few blades of grass over here, uh, blinds it together with over here and then we saw that one before. Okay, um, color framing. Now these are pictures uh, where the framing, I'm gonna miss that one. Where the framing gives you a massive blast of color. It's doing other things as well, but look at the energy that we get from the color of the picture. Hannah's usually here. You here, Hannah, this week? Maybe she's here. Um, but just look at the, the, by throwing in this splash of color, um, we, we give, whatever the color is going to be, whatever the energies of the color are, uh, that just adds to the expressions and to the subject. Okay. So you look at the difference in this picture and this picture. What a completely yeah. different, different energies. Yeah. Completely different energies. This is like happy and whatever. And this is very romantic. Yeah. Okay? This is a very, very um, 
kind of powerful image here, just random, whatever that was. I don't even know what it is, but then also using flash to, to, to uh, light our subject accordingly. Again, just a big splash of color adds so much to the image. Framing is like, framing is king. Framing really is king. Uh, textual framing. This is just adding in a texture that... Um, mm, that's cool. Yeah, just adding in a texture. What What do you think could improve this picture? Look at this. Look how ugly that is. I, I was going to say, cut that off. Yeah, just cut that out would make a big difference. And I think I would also... If you would if you would want that panoramic, you could just clone it a bit or it gets too messy and takes too yeah, long. You, yeah, you could clone it if you want. I, I don't think there's any need. I don't think there's any need. Maybe you've got enough. Exactly, exactly. Okay, this is textual. I think generally trees, like tree barks, I'm trying to leave out. But I think that the the contrast with this like very smooth red, with this like kind of whatever whatever that is i think uh, i think that actually works quite well in this picture maybe this is a little too bright okay again um a splash of texture this is also the binding it together but the same idea okay be careful they're very important to make sure the frame never overlaps the the fundamental part of the image okay i.e the faces even that's a little bit little bit risky but uh, when the frame touches the face of your subject, it's really always a disaster. Okay, very important to pull off the little blades of grass and the little funny things in the foreground to make sure that your subject is not compromised in any way. Okay, and this is one of the few examples where a tree is actually very beautiful. Uh, these these olive trees in Israel are actually very beautiful. Generally, uh, trees are the tree trunks, especially in like North America and England, what I've been seeing, are not beautiful. OK, um, power framing. So now these are shapes that are just super powerful. Awesome. That are just adding a Are lot your fish of... eye? No, First no, two. no, 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 no. This you've got with your... Mm -hmm. the, the... 24, yeah, 24 millimetres. So what's the... Yeah. what's the, the angle is a natural angle? Are those stats good, bad or perfect? I'll tell you, everybody, those stats are actually perfect. <laughs> Believe it or not. A 2000 ISO at F4 at a 13th of a second. <laughs> anyway, um, so these are just wide angle, big wide angle, 24 millimeter. Again, just having a, that, That's that funny. <laughs> a lot of power to the picture. And again, also here, and this is also a very uh, a unique kind of frame where we've got an image over here with with the, the frame of a, of, a, of a moment going on over here framing people through the running also makes a lot of sense um precision framing this is what this i'm i'm a very like precision kind of person yeah, this is cool. so it's a very good idea also to be super precise with your framing okay this is a great place to be precise lovely very precise again also very precise this is also very precise and here as well perfectly framed in the middle over here also very precise being very careful being very uh being very aware uh, aware exactly of the lines okay again he's really framed beautifully over here um and then we've got framing using friends and family this kind of this kind of picture for a, in a wedding is very special um it would be nicer if he, if he was a little bit more uh, out of focus but still um this this is just a really intelligent way of taking a, a, a novelty picture of the bride with her parents um this is a bit like what you did you have it yeah oh, we got we got our we got our main in the middle in the middle yeah. yeah it definitely makes sense to have them in the middle and then everybody else is basically framing and this is how do you get them to laugh like this make a joke no no to get to crack a joke that would get people laughing like that is basically like once, <laughs> once every three years is what you do is you go okay everybody we're just gonna laugh stupidly <laughs> and you just start laughing like that and then before you know it they just crack up and it actually gets very very real within like about two three seconds it's amazing and this as well Again, all of these girls, I'm just like, everybody, we're laughing, just stupid laugh. <laughs> and, it, and, and everybody actually cracks up. 
It's really I do that all the time. Okay, again, precision framing. This is precision framing. Everyone's seen these pictures. I do this all the time. Okay, this is a great kind of shot to take. Really good fun. And this as well. We're framing now with the family. We're using the family as a frame. And this is also framing. This is a really good idea. I was at the restaurant. I, I climbed up the stairs. I said, Mum and Dad, just go in the middle. And I, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, look, look, look. Everyone looks up. You've got Mum and Dad wave in the middle. And you've got a beautiful picture of Mum and Dad framed by their entire Bermitsa party. Okay. And this is another picture that you've seen. I, I, I came up with this about a year ago. I take this all the time. It's a lovely... Uh, it's a lovely, uh, a lovely image to take, framing the parents with the kids or vice versa. Okay, human frames. So although that was framing the family, this is now actually using, um, specifically using people as frames. One of the nice things about this frame is that everything is moving us inwards. Yeah. Okay, so that really- and Your light's powerful. really intelligent yeah. there. Very powerful light as well, yeah. Okay, um, and popping, just trying to pop out a little, Apart from the side and making sure to use the light intelligently as well. Okay, the, this is really what I was trying to get at is um, this picture here where I actually got the mum and sister to stand there and look at the bride and I used them. Otherwise, th think of how much more interest that's adding to the picture. If, it, if they yeah. weren't there, it would be an open. It's all wasted yeah. dead space. Exactly. So just get 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 uh, two people in the picture just to look at the color. All of a sudden, there's a story, and graphically now you've got a much more interesting image. Um, story framing. Okay, so this is now framing, creating more of a story. Okay, framing with mum in the background. And now this is the picture that I take all the time at a wedding. Is as the bride get this takes a lot of practice and a lot of. Uh, a lot of knowledge of, of weddings, but as the bride's walking up, you run behind the Hassan and you put the camera behind him and you get the picture framing her with the back of him. I've got that for basically every wedding that I Wouldn't do. Wouldn't you call that context rather than framing or is it the same well, thing? It is, I mean, it is context, but it's with this is framing, having your full I back. suppose, meaning he's, yeah. You're, yeah, it's, you're, it's a context through framing. Same yeah, here this is well. cool. Yeah, okay. Again, being quite precise between the two people in the background. And this is also contextual framing. And here, dad drinking in the background, that's good. This is a cute shot. <laughs> this is, this is, a loot. You, you can't, you can't lose by bringing your camera up high and shooting down. You really can't, you really can't. <laughs> so I, I try and do that all the time. And then it just creates these really powerful dynamic frames always and the colors and the textures yeah, there's so much going on here exactly, yeah we push that picture all the way forward okay again kind of contextual um well it's comedy framing so this picture i actually added in the, the, no yeah yeah i went online well, and it was I, an empty it was just no, 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 no. there was like this one here and that one here i think ah, and you it, added it, in it more really boring fish tank so i got i went online and just pulled out some tropical fish and blurred them out. <laughs> and I thought that was a great shot. I love that picture. Okay, also here as well, I thought that's a nice- That was a cool picture. guy. <laughs> a cute inclusion here. And that as well, these kinds of pictures, like thinking on your toes and like getting these kinds of funny pictures, it really like puts you in a different, it sets you apart, you know, it really does set you apart, I feel. Um, and then surprise framing we mentioned is the idea of <laughs> very small again just thinking out your head that at weddings a wedding is like is like the playground for all this kind of stuff i come back from a wedding my brain is so exhausted i'm like i can't tell you how exhausting it is thinking like this over like for, for 12 hours straight plus all the technical stuff and whatever, but constantly thinking, how can I squeeze a funny thing out here? And I think this is a great example of like, <laughs> you know, just completely out the box, wacky kind of like, what's he doing? But it's a cool, <laughs> a cute, cool picture. Same idea here as well. Find what's interesting, turn it so very small, but make it very obvious. And then, then it comes out to be like the surprise frame. And all to here, this is a nice example where I've actually used Lightroom to, um, to my subject exactly okay and finally we'll go back to yeah. this original picture this That's one brilliant. second 
I'm going to open this Photoshop because this is a really good. Um, one second. This is a really good thing that we learn about. Look at this picture. Do you want to see what the original picture was? One second. That was the original picture. Okay, and then I added in one, two. Oh. I added in that, that, that these, these were the, oh, one sec. Yeah, so this was the original. No, I think I added that in as well. No, no, no. This was the original picture. Yeah, this was the original picture. The, these spaces here were very annoying. These mm. look the graphics, look how awesome. So I saw that this was a really, a potentially awesome picture. Look how, how, how precisely she's framed, beautiful light, you know, pretty color looking up into the, it's a really powerful, really good picture, but there's just these spaces here. So you know what? Why we live in 2020, why 2021? Why can't you just stuff it in? So I did, I just pulled out that leaf is, where's that from? Maybe it's from a different picture like to, for, of the same series of pictures, but the fill in the gaps. And that's a really big, a really big uh, insight into framing is make sure to fill in all the gaps. Okay. <sighs> Keep going. No one really yeah. cares about the questions and answers anymore, do they? Everyone just cares about the critiquing. Does <laughs> any, I, I don't know if I really wanted to get through all the critiquing, but I don't know if we're going to do that. What if you do the other way around, finish the critiquing and then questions, answers for anyone who wants let's to? Let's just ask, let's just quickly do, who wants critiquing? Maybe do a what? poll. Yeah, let's do a poll. Critiquing questions, one second. I need to make a new poll. Um, oh, Sherry says we still like Q&A. Q and A's. Um, Annie's requesting again if you can get her picture from your email. Okay, everybody, I'll put out Hannah's picture from my email. Everybody, <laughs> fill, in, fill in your form one second. All right, we're getting some pictures. She gave three pictures, that's not fair. I'll just do the first one. We're leaning heavily on the critiquing. Oh, yeah. 82 percent. Well, I don't think there's going to be a comeback for the uh, for the Q and A's, so we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll hold it there. Okay, so we're gonna, we're going to skip the Q and A's, and I'm going to work really hard now to do the critiquing. Okay, and just to make um, who was it? Who was it? Who asking to fill the pictures? Who is asking to look at their picture? Uh, to add it in. Yeah, I just That's did. Annie and Chava both said there's it in the email. Oh, well, I only got one of them, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, light yeah. is beautiful here. Um, stats are good. Uh, this arm is a problem, okay? But the light is beautiful. If she was to look out the window, it'd make a big difference, okay? Um, mm, what's wrong with that? It's It's... I think the background is too, um, it's too hard. It's too uh, distracting. It, it's not far away enough. Um, and your, your aperture is not wide enough. So it's become a little bit too, it's pulling out eye a little bit too much. That's my opinion there. That's nice. This kind of thing is, uh, is generally something we want to avoid. It's not bad here. It's not bad. I still think that if you were to come this way a little bit, and have it a little bit closer to your subject, it would be a little bit better. Um, but otherwise, it's a good shot. Stats are fantastic, fabulous. Well done, Rivka. Okay, this is a cute picture. Unfortunately, she's not looking, and that has absolutely no place ever in a portrait photograph. Please, if you only walk away with one thing from this. Uh, from this webinar, do not have stuff like that in your picture. Look how gorgeous that is. That is not very nice. And plus, we can't see it. Also, it's uh, you. You should add a little bit of contrast there. But the actual, the, it's a gorgeous. Uh, there's a lot of gorgeous uh, elements here, um, and the stats are also perfect as well. Uh, who is this? CB. But unfortunately, that is not good. Okay, that's beautiful. Well done, Devori. Um, 
brighten up the brighten her face up a little bit more add clarity on her hair i think that would make a big difference but lovely location um this bright area here doesn't add anything but it doesn't really subtract anything and i think the energy moving in this direction um actually adds a, a, adds some more energy to the picture so well done that's beautiful oh you haven't really did two pictures that's not fair but that's a beautiful uh, that's a beautiful edit it really is i'd brighten her eyes a little bit more and get rid of the shadows a little bit over there but very special okay um would crop in here be careful this and i would crop here like this mm, truth is i really need to crop there but that's annoying i'd probably just get rid of that get rid of that yeah, yeah but it's still that that's the right crop uh, lovely energy beautiful location stats good battle perfect go in your head mm, i don't see them very well 320, 1.8 out of 400th of a second. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Hello, mate. He <laughs> um, <laughs> was with the teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's not, it's not a, I'm, it, although you've taken <gasps> a 5D Mark IV um, and maybe even a flash, it, it's very much a snap. It's not a it's not a sophisticated picture, although it does look like you use flash. Um, it's definitely fun to look at. Um, so well done. Okay, that's nice. That's beautiful. That's very special. Who's that? Ellen Hall. Very nice. Um, Is she all right with the hands going off because they're sort of cut off from the t-shirt? I think it's okay. I would probably you can make just about get away with it. Yeah, I think you could if you cropped in a little bit closer, it might be a little bit better using that to bring you back in. But yeah because that 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 line there stops your eye from banging out here so i think that's quite nice but very that's a lovely picture that's really well done you really you really see the soul of this child that's beautiful well done okay gorgeous wow it's really special that's beautifully framed soften the skin i think would be a good idea the light on her face is gorgeous beautifully done stats good battle perfect 250 ISO 1.8 thousandth of a second. Perfect. Gorgeous. Really well done. I think I would just trim a little bit off the right side of the frame, just like that. I think that would be a drop better balance, but really, really special. That's a gorgeous picture. Well done, Nahama. Well done. Okay. Good. Devoir. Well done. Um, this area here is distracting and subtracts, distracts, detracts all of those words from the image. Look how awesome this graphic is and look how bland that graphic is. Um, but nicely cropped in, good light, good expression. Stats are perfect though, because you're using your you're using the 2.8 lens. Okay. Um, hi, Mindy. Um, bad location. This is what we call ugly. Okay. Not very nice. So it'd be good to get away from there. And that's also awkward eyes. So be careful. Awkward eyes is like this. Don't do awkward <laughs> eyes. Never look. I good. made the husband color laugh with that. I was like, just keep your eyeballs in the middle of your head. <laughs> it's hard to say that to people. I know, I know. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Razor, Razor, That's Razor. Really, yeah, Razor. Thank you. That's a beautiful picture. That's really special. That's really intelligent. Really interesting. Um, stats, uh, I don't know what lens you're using, but it's great. She's she's not too blurry, it's perfect. I'd probably crop a little bit off the edge, uh, but I think that's a really, really nice shot. Probably brighten her up a little bit uh, in post, but, but lovely shapes, lovely balance, a lovely dynamic. We've got energy moving in this direction, energy it's so quaint. Up, then we've got the all the powerful, them. yeah, exactly. So, I was gonna say that we've got a lot of powerful energies. We've got the energy moving this way, energy moving this way. Then we've got the leading lines bringing you in very powerfully. So, you've got this huge, powerful interplay of energy, but then at the same time, you've got this like quaint, cute yeah. kind of like little thing going with the little girl. So, all in all, that's a cracker. Well done. Um. Devorah, okay, I, I think this is looking bad on my computer. I think this would look much better. I'm not, I don't, I haven't got time, but I think the problem with this picture is that it's um, it's to do with my Picasso. Um, otherwise, the it should be a wider aperture and you should be zoomed in more. 
Um, the pose is very nice. I'm looking through the coloring because I know the coloring looks awful on my screen, but I know it doesn't look that bad otherwise. Um, but yeah, it's the not King so great Lear, here either. No, it's not. It's from my. It's if I open it in, I'm not going to do it. But if you open uh, it in Lightroom, sometimes Picasso previews pictures funny. But if you zoomed in and opened up your aperture then you would end up um, blurring the background and the foreground and it wouldn't vie for your attention. Okay, that's special. Rifki, that's nice. Nice interplay between the characters, between the subjects, too dark over here and be careful the big bright, uh, the bright white uh, background. But what the problem, the issue here is that they're too far away from each other. Too, there's too big a too big a gap between them. Bring her down a little bit lower, the tall girl, and that would be that would be better. Okay, um, that's nice. I would crop in like this to give uh, expression to the energy of her face moving in this direction. But just again, look how ugly this is. This is just an ugly place. You should try and find somewhere better, higher. Okay, um, underexposed. Um, we need to expose our subjects a little bit more. Uh, the background is a little bit over will be even more exposed i do like the framing it's well done okay stats are you should have a wider aperture and blur out the background more that would be better okay that's cute that's cute um careful this splodge of light on his face um good well cropped in nice energy moving in this direction um, overall good background, nice frame, well done. Okay, that's that's nice. Sweet. Who's that? Ellie Sheva. Okay, um, that is sweet. I think I might be tempted to crop in a little bit closer here, and I might even chop off a little bit of his head. Is it he or she? I thought it was a girl, but yeah, you might be right. I would, I would, I would crop off a bit of his head um, to give you that little bit more. Uh, intimacy chopping off a little bit of the head at the top uh, regularly gives you some more intimacy so that's nice okay probably be nice also to do it as a sepia edit maybe okay onward oi what happened to the coloring here i think this is probably again an issue with my uh, i would hope it's an issue with my picasso mm. um but the actual crop is very nice the pose is cute um and i just hope that the coloring is better than that in real life and you've left just enough space to give uh to give a perfect balance so well done higher okay onward um good freda i would crop in a little bit more to be honest something like that okay um that's well done you've you've got away with her legs just because uh because of that line over there it's not so distracting but the light on her face is very beautiful you should be using a wider aperture and you can get a quicker shutter speed but well done very okay. Whoa, that is <laughs> electro. That's a nice picture. Um, um, I, I, what is that? Arco e landscape, maybe RP. I don't know what an EOS RP is. Interesting. Um, I, for me, that's a little too trippy. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit OTT with the edit, personally. Um, I think he's also lost. What would be good, I think, is if you went in close at 24. So he was big, yeah. Oh, that he was big, but you got all the, um, you still got all of this area in around. But as it is, he just becomes a little too small. I don't think you've done him justice. Okay. Um, I don't. Cute. I don't like the white vignette. Um, the actual the actual mechanics of the image work great. Um, the light, though, on your subject is not very good. This is where a flash would really help you. It would be difficult to deal with that without a flash. But I definitely like the balance of the picture, so well done. Okay. Razy. Who's that? Toba or Razy? Either way. Um, it's quite nice. I think the issue here is that our subject is bleeding. It's lost the in the white. Yeah, bleeding into the background which is a little bit distracting. Um, I think also I would probably crop a bit more like this and as a little bit more of a novelty. I think that's, that's, a, that's a nice novelty. This line over here is helping us keep our eye in. So that's good. Okay, that's nice. Again, this kind of pitch you could really, really do with some flash. You really could. It would be. It's very difficult to get this better than that without flash or at least a reflector. Uh, but you definitely need to brighten up your subject here. But the balance of the picture is very good. 
Um, and I think the crop is also quite nice. Well done. Okay. Um, um, they should look at each other. Yeah. They're both it's, looking off in their own direction. Yeah, I agree with you. It's a little bit like random. Your eyes are getting... Yeah, like we don't know what to look at. And then there's also this ugliness over here. I, I think this is a little confusing. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to be looking at. And I just, yeah, it's like, I'm, well, what's going on, you know? Okay. Um, this is, who's this? Hadassah Zubin. Okay, this is very much a snap. Um, if you're not, I'm, I'm assuming that you're not enrolled in our school. But you took this with your, with your, uh, with your telephone. So that's probably why it's a snap. Okay. Um, who's this? Leia. Um, remember that what we've learned is it's always a good idea to have objects in the background in their own space. When you have your object in the background overlaying your subject, what happens is they end up vying for each other. They end up vying for your attention. So I don't know if I'm looking at her or at the house, her or the house, whereas if the house was kind of like over here in its own place, then you've got her and your house and they don't really distract from each other. Um, that's, that's my thoughts over here. You've just missed the focus, Sandy. Um, on his keypad at the back, no? Sorry? Yeah. You missed the focus. Um, we've got energy moving in this direction. It's nicely cropped. Um, I think you could do much better than this though, Sandy. I'm not so, I'm not such a fan. It's also you're at 1600 ISO and your camera does not quite cut it. Your camera does not quite cut it. Um, okay. Um, dad is a little too high and you're shooting up. Um, I would, mm, I would probably be trying to cash in on having them sit down on these steps. Although the truth is these steps are actually really ugly. Like the, the colors around them are ugly and this is actually very beautiful. Um, maybe, maybe what would work would be to have dad come down another step. The, the issue is that that is too high, really, and that you're shooting up. That's really the issue. Um, At least get Dad in the middle, get him to hold the kid in the other hand. Could be. I, I think I would probably not be shooting here, to be honest, because this area is just basically ugly, although it's, it's steps, which is always a good thing to catch it on. But this greenery in the background is really, really vibrant and special. Okay, um, that's nice. Shana, well done. That's really cute. It's a cute expression. Lovely light. She's not looking at out. She's not looking into the camera, but I think that's fine. I think with such a cute expression, it doesn't matter. I also like the fact that you've cropped off the hood over here that makes the picture feel very intimate indeed. A lovely energy moving here. This lovely, bold, circular shape. And frame. Yeah, really nice frame. Adds a lot of lovely energy. The background also bounces everything up as well. So that's well done. And once I want to put up an offer, one second before we finish, 50% off all courses. Don't miss out. Okay, one second. Onward. Okay, we're getting there. 62. We've got another 13 left. Okay, this uh, is nice. Whose is this? Sarah. Um, this would be great as a black and white image, I think. The, the color palette doesn't do the energy of the justice. So I would crop in like this and I would turn that into a powerful black and white. And that would be really cool. Okay. But right. That great, great thinking, good, uh, good energy. And uh, you lost your, you lost your logo there as well. Okay. That's nice. Um, but I would definitely crop in closer. Remember cropping in close gives you the two eyes intimacy and intensity this is very intimate so cash in on that you've missed the focus unfortunately a picture a close-up of a face absolutely essentially utterly 100 percent needs pin sharp focus onwards that's cute that's a nice shot well done Nahami. um i would I definitely um needs flash i mean it's a nice shot as in the truth is like quality wise it isn't such a great shot but just the the energy of the angle uh, really does do a lot. Um, not that I like these cake smash things, but you definitely need flashing and you need to be in a little closer, get rid of this part of the bottom over here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll never have your subject flat like that. If you look online uh, for newborn photography or whatever, you'll see they never have the heads like that. They always prop them up a little bit. Very awkward to look at a picture like this. 
Um, however, I still think it's a nice shot. Uh, it looks like you've uh, you've got a lot of like big window light over here. Um, I think that what makes it nice is the echoing of this shape with the shape of the baby. I think that mm -hmm. really adds something. So well done. But generally, we don't want flat heads. Okay, that's great. That's well done. Whose is that? Perry, that's, that's fantastic. That's really well done. This little boy should move out a little bit further. Okay, she and that's the girl. Play, and he should move out a little bit further. This kid's smushed a little bit over here, but really good. It, it could be tightened up a little bit, but really good thinking. Good thinking. Um, nice, energized picture. And also, you could be a little bit tighter with pose, keeping them perfectly framed in between the pillars, whatever. But well done. Well done. Um, Hadassah. Um, not quite sure what's going on with that. This is a problem. Um, you've just missed the focus as well. Quite energized, but this is just basically boring. So I'm not so into that. This is nice. Gitty, well done. Um, I would crop in like this a little bit. Yeah, and I would brighten up the kid's face and drop in Lightroom. Um, nice focus. Stats, perfect. Beautiful. I love also one very important thing is that the line here in the background links up with the line of the subject's uh, subject's jaw, which works well. Okay. Well, we still got 87 people live. That's amazing. We're going for nearly two hours now. Okay. Um, crop it. I'm running out of steam now. I'm <laughs> uh, falling asleep here. <laughs> yeah, we're nearly done. I'm just like desperate to get through everything. Light on his face is not so good, but still cute. Definitely need to brighten up the shadows. Okay, um, get down lower. Okay, this is ugly. Yeah, but it's the 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 um, the uh, the triangle is good. But get down lower, and you will minimize um, you will minimize how much of this you've got of this ugly uh, this ugly um, horrible color. Sorry, one second. Um, but well well framed otherwise. Okay, that's nice. I would crop in closer here. Well done for squeezing out these great colors in the background. Oh, this is Hanshi. Okay, Hanshi, good stuff. Um, this is great. This is really, really good. Hanshi, you're doing really well. Big, big thumbs up. Loads of great energy. The fact the kid's not looking doesn't really matter. It's such, a, such an so energy. So happy, yeah. Yeah, it's just such energy here. That's really well done. Beautiful. Okay, snap, Tova Gitto. Okay. This is Q. I would definitely crop in here, cash in. I just, oh, I would just turn this into a. You're losing a lot of energy. I raised the clarity or something to. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Bang it out. Yeah, but but but, but cropping in like this makes all the difference. A lot of the energy is lost by this area and this area here. So cropping in like that makes all the difference. We're nearly there. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. Is, Ayala, you're you're doing great. This is fantastic. Using a very high uh, aperture. Um, which is giving you that great radial burst, um, good shape, um, good, good. Um, this is really well done. This is excellent. Uh, it could be pushed further in Lightroom. Definitely, uh, we could definitely make this picture more um, by brightening the sky. And I think maybe even if they had like their arms like this, like this, or this girl with her arm like that, just uh, adding a little bit more. Uh, but that's been really like pushing you very far. But that's really well done. Okay. Yecheved, that's great. Um, in this case, I think the 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 flare um, it actually works. The the haze the hazy picture is fine. Um, this is a good example where where the backlight is not really doing you such good. It's not doing you such a justice on her hair. Um, I, I don't know about the eyes closed in this picture. What do you think, Yecheved? It goes with the haze, sort of like a hippie look. Yeah, I still think it would be nice with the eyes open. It's very rare that not seeing the eyes adds anything. Um, and Pearlstein, oh, this is the last picture that you uploaded. This gate is actually very ugly, okay? Be careful with stuff like that, because although it looks kind of ornate, when you really look at it for what it is, it's really just very ugly. And I feel that it really detracts from this little girl. So by cropping in a little closer, by making the girl bigger, uh, we make her more... Part, we make her more in the image. Mm -hmm. which she doesn't get distracted so easily. Um, so I think that's better. Um, but otherwise, 
stats. I'm not sure what lens you're using. I'm assuming that's the widest aperture. So I think that's pretty good. I like those stats. Even though it's quite a high ISO. Whew. Okay. Done it. We're done. We did it. <laughs> wow. That was wow. intense. Okay. Everybody, please now all go and buy loads of courses. And uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, that was great. I need to go and sleep now. Uh, but we'll see you next month. I'll send you the. I'll send you the replay. That we went through a lot here. There was a lot of a lot of content. It's probably be worth, especially listening to the framing thing and maybe going back over the the shoot that I did. But we'll send you an email. Oh, yeah. Coming, Yehemed, you look exhausted. I'm shattered. <laughs> okay, let me just ready for bed. Let me put this back on here. Oh, I'll sit up straight again. Yeah. Well, thank you, Yehemed. Thank you, as always. You're welcome. Your form, fantastic. And um, everyone, thank you, as always, for being great, being, uh, and uh, what's the word, uh, participating, as you always do. And uh, we will see you in a month's time. Bezwat Hashem. Okay, guys. All the best. Good night. Peace out.